Good morning, darlings. My time is running out with this bike, so it's Sunday morning, time for breakfast. It's zero degrees, who cares? Oh no, it's not zero degrees, it's minus one. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta be very careful of the black ice. Traction's on full, power's on full, engine braking's on full. Still got it in user one mode. I've changed this user one for how I like it. So we've got the uh, suspension jacked right up, set to its hardest. Full power, full engine braking, full traction and ABS on for the road heater jacket is on I desperately need to get some heated gloves and maybe heated socks and then weather really doesn't matter but at the moment that's the only that's oh that's the only weak link in my um, armor I get cold hands and cold toes it's definitely gonna be ice about my pond's iced up look Beautiful morning. It's just on corners you've really got to be careful. They're all this looks slippy. Sheet of ice there. Steady, 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 does it? I keep doing that in a straight line just to see if the uh, traction's kicking in because then it lets me know if it is slippy or not. flashed in once yet so it's probably not as bad as I think but still I'm not gonna risk it that's all ice there in that corner <laughs> oh that's good then so from sec from third into second nailing it it'll still wheelie yeah liking this more and more and more Look at this way, because it's a bit uh, off-roady. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice water. It did, it did bring up the traction though, so it's probably still a touch icy. Until that brake's going mad then. When I, I tried to brake hard on that straight line on my back brake just to see. Oh, could be a little bit dicey up here. Because we're right on the top, so this is where it gets its most... Uh, weather if it ever snows you're snowed in up here basically same with the uh the ice because it's so high up it just blows up and rolls over the fields so it's quite dicey and you can see in the cars look, the cars are going really slow as well so i want to be a little bit careful Anyway, yeah, Honda are coming to collect this baby in, uh, in about four days, so I'll probably not get much chance, if any, to go out on it after today. Just got a lot of work on. Which is a shame. Well, it's safe to say I've done uh, a good trek on it, a good test, a good review. 1500 mile trip to the Highlands. Yeah, look down here. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh, you beauty. Oh, you know what we're doing, folks, don't you? Yes! We're going down this lane. Mega. Mega, mega, mega. It's probably safer down the lane than it is on uh, the road. <laughs> because of the eyes. This is where I brought the very first Africa Twin. What I do want to do is... Uh, oops, stop a minute. Who's that? That's where your USB port is under there. Uh, right, change it from user mode. Off-road mode. Uh, that'll do. 
Yeah, lots of ice here, look. Oi! Oh my god, that is thick ice as well! It's a good job it's got a big old uh, sump guard on it. Of me and the bike. I to put my visor down. My eyes watering straight away. Yeah, I love that, that you can just switch into off road mode and, and it settles into a completely different environment. I think that's brilliant. Well, I keep getting asked the question about this or the GS and I, I feel like uh, I don't know I feel just like people don't give anything else a chance like they assume that it has to be the GS don't get me wrong that GS is a stonking bike in every way but you do have to you know you have to make room for the contenders don't you definitely I would because of its heritage I would definitely say this is more capable off-road this is what it's made for. The Beamer is absolutely brilliant off-road, it's brilliant on-road. Well, as is this, you know, don't uh, don't just have a closed book. I, I know for definite, and this is because of how I, I've ridden the GS1250 plenty at Toro. Um, I, I'm due to go down there again soon, actually. Obviously, I've, I've ridden that plenty, and I've ridden this plenty. And, and pe honestly, my personal choice is that if I had the choice of both bikes, without question, it would be this one, genuinely genuinely would be and the DCT that's another thing you must try folks and, and and again don't be a closed book this technology is I think you speak to most G, uh, DCT owners I think you'd struggle to get any other answer other than that they, they totally love it most people I spoke to that are DCT riders have said I'd never go back to manual. Oi! Never go back to manual. And it's not as if you don't think that it's um, like. My poor camera ain't back. <laughs> Safe to say that DSLR has been a uh, workhorse. Rattled all the way across America in the back of a top box and it's been abused. But it's a tool. So it should be. Um, yeah, don't think that it's. Um, a less of a product because it's definitely not it's probably the, the other way around cool it's the best of both worlds obviously you've seen me having fun on the uh, on the roads with it but also for this for the off-road bit you've not got to keep constantly covering your clutch and then you know getting your foot down for gears it's all there taken care of Easy. Oh no, it's not. Oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Uh, thought I was in trouble then. This is brilliant. I know this is only very tame laning, but still, it's about it now. I think you go past the farm now, so just sit back and uh, let it dry. Let it ride down steady. There you go. Brilliant. Not disturbing the peace. Very respectful. It's very bouncy when you've got your off-road mode on. <laughs> your suspension. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, um, I love that GS. Love it. And, and again, it's, it's very, very, very capable. But it's just as capable as this. And I think it's down to your own personal preference. Play on both of them. I prefer the looks of this as well. I really do. The only one thing someone made a point of saying, um, this is really tall um, and, and I feel like I'm sitting on this and the GS you feel like you're sitting in it. So you, I think your centre of gravity is a lot lower on the GS. It's just, just about what you get used to, isn't it? So if I can do this on the fly, I can't remember if you can. Yeah, you can. There you go, I just can feel suspension jacking up for it. Oh, look at all this ice. Ooh. 
Can feel suspension jacking up. A lot of ice there, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be stunning down here today. Yeah, you've got two configurable user mode. In fact, they're all configurable, but uh, they've got these two separate user modes that you can change everything on, and just so you know that's you. And it's set to exactly how you'd, uh, you know, how you like it. Oh, look at the, the weir down there. Steam coming off. Beautiful. We've got um, the, the Wild Bad Weekend uh, 2020, WW20, is... Um, it's going to be out soon, details out soon. Just got to confirm a few more things and then we're good to go again. We can get that all booked and sorted. It's going to be a stunning day. I still can't believe I went up there, up to Scotland, the top of Scotland, in January and had next to no rain at all. Had a little bit of drizzle at the end of one day and that's about it. It's bizarre, when I fully expected to be having, you know, a deluge of it, I expected it to be start to finish rain, and I wouldn't have been bothered if it did. That's definitely not going to um, stop play for me. I honestly feel this whole Gore-Tex get-up, the, 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 the armour, is honestly lie. All the years of riding and I've panicked about wet rain or, please don't rain on that day, please don't rain on that day, you know, all this time I've been panicking about that all these years and now it's completely irrelevant it's completely irrelevant whether it's raining or not I'm not bothered and that's what riding's all about riding's just about getting yourself out there rain the weather shouldn't have anything to do with it and it, it just feels like the, the it feels like you've opened a new door it's, it's almost as if you've been riding a bike with one hand all your life and all of a sudden you go hey what I've got to I've got two hands. I can put both hands up. Look at this. I can ride with two hands. That's the difference. That's the difference that it feels to me. All these years worrying about rain and panicking about it and then get yourself um, kitted out with the right stuff. It's a different ball game. It's not saying, isn't it? There's no such thing as bad weather. It's just bad clothing choices. If you're, prote if you're protected from the cold and the wet, what's, what could be an issue? So the, the, the only weak link in my armour at the moment is uh, heated gloves and heated socks. Or maybe just heated glove liners, because I love these gloves. They're perfectly comfortable. I know you can get those thin liners, but again, I, I don't know if it did interfere with the comfort of the glove. That's really don't, what you don't want to happen. Well, let's see who's at breakfast this morning. Let's see who has braved the cold. Still zero degrees. And uh, it's ten past nine. I thought I was going to be quite a bit later than this, actually. Not bad at all. I hope no one's had any incidents, if, there are, if they are yet. Just going to have a pint of tea and a brekkie. Grindleford Station Cafe, for those that are always asking. It's our usual spot, you can find us, or at least some of us here, every Sunday morning. Lee's here on the Harley, good lad, is he the only one here? Well, that just shows you, doesn't it? Me and Mr Cooper, that is it. on me well good morning folks and uh, let's go and enjoy some breakfast I might keep me uh, helmet on turn you off see you later I don't really moved that's good Thank you. Buenos dias. Looks like it's just it looks like it's just me and you that uh, that have made of the tough stuff, mate. 
they all wake up and look out of the window and go, oh, I don't think I'll make it today, lads. Oh. It looks a bit cold out there for me. It's coming through, slipping and sliding over the balls and my phone's pinging like that. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, that's everybody saying they're not coming. <laughs> I've not checked yet. Well, I'll have a look in a sec. There's still some saying that coming, but I thought I'd sit here with next to the fire going on there. Yeah, of course you can. But it needs um, a tank lock, definitely. Yeah. That's what I love. That's what I love about the DCT, though. Look, you got your handbrake. Yeah, not going anywhere. No. Are they on? <laughs> Obviously, you've got your gear changes there. Look, four finger and your thumb. Yeah. But I don't really use them. I just have it in auto sport. And it's good as well having this because you've got your speedo there. You can have your speedo there if you want. Well, it is there anyway, look. Yeah. So you've got your rev counter. But when you've got your phone plugged in, and that's your, um, app, uh, you know, your Apple CarPlay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've got your maps on there. So that's completely taken up with your maps, and you've got your speedo still there, even though your maps are in top corner on your on your on your Waze map that's if you want. The, 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 the old GS, the, 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 the speedo was very yeah. very tiny. You couldn't was, see I don't okay, yes, yeah. Well, they say it's more accurate anyway doing a GPS yeah. than your actual speed. In fact, I, I got it um, cruise controlled all the way back down and up to Scotland at 72 mile an hour on the, on the GPS. So if it's 72 mile an hour on the GPS, which is accurate, that we're reading like 77, 78. Right, right. So it just shows you you can always go a little bit over your speedo that's reading because it's... They've been on constant since I've had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to adjust them, like, you just see that FN button, function button, click it. And then you've got another function button there, which operates. Yeah, or click it again. That then takes you to your automatic lights again. That's your volume for your, all your stuff coming through your headset. Yeah. And then it'll just go off if you leave it. That's good as well to keep the sun off. Yes, I thought that. Yeah. Yeah. Screen adjusts up and down, but you really don't need to. Because when I f put it back up, when I first picked it up and I went up to Scotland, I had that full because I, I knew I was going to be at motorway. But look where your eyes are. Well, it's it's there. Right yeah. Now, it? So you find yourself either doing this yeah. or doing this. But then when it gets shitty, you can't see through it. Oh. Well, that, that so right my line of sight. Yeah. So then pop it back down to the bottom. But because of the, the screen, it's, it's got like a little kick. You get no wind yeah, buffet at all. You get nothing, yeah, yeah, nothing at all. You have to really stand up over it to get to feel anything. Is it clean now? Uh, is it clean now? Yes, emergency lights, yeah. It's a good, good thing that is. Just lets everyone know that you're braking harder than normal. Yeah. But yeah, this handbrake, look. That's it. So you just pull it and then click that forward. So you, you, you can't go anywhere. You just pull it in out the box. Yeah. So, so it goes that far, you can't reach you, it. Yeah, you'd never, you'd never go to it like a clutch. And then to put it in gear, look. So you're in, you're in drive mode. Press it again. That's sport mode. That's With the three bars, that's like the most aggressive. That's what I've been in all the time. Or you can put it in manual, so then you do it yourself. I've just been having it in sport auto. On three. Oh. Anyway, see you in a bit. Cheers, brother. Safe riding back, mate. Well, yeah, that sound is really addictive. Isn't it? So, with an aftermarket can on, that would be special. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll see you soon. See you soon, boys. See you in a bit. Thank you. Pleasure to see you all gentlemen. Gonna get home, put me uh, new winter clothes on and go for a walk. That's something else to bear in mind folks. I know I said it up in Scotland but the tank bag that this bike comes with, don't do it. It needs a tank lock bag. 
be nice if you can get a contoured tank bag just like the honda bag actually but it needs to be on a tank lock not not on the magnet because this tank has scratched terribly and that's only what within 1500 miles so after 20,000 miles of riding you'd, you'd ruin it so you either need some cut some form of clear bra over it to protect it or a tank lock bag that doesn't touch your tank and I would definitely be looking for a tank lock if there's if they do one for it that is Alright folks, I'm going to sign off on a little breakfast run, a little good morning breakfast run for you. Hope you've all had a great weekend from me and this lovely Africa twin. We'll see you soon.